There is a brand new animal survival game on the horizon and today I'm telling you everything you need to know about this one. This is The Hunted and of course, yeah, this is everything you need to know about the game. So let's get right to it. Here we go after what's probably been a long ass time, we are back talking about something new and fresh. A brand new animal survival game called The Hunted. This is an open world animal survival game which will be able to be played in both multiplayer and single player with or without your friends. It's based on modern day animals and how they survive and thrive in their natural habitats, their own kingdoms. Set on an array of custom maps that will allow you to dive into to the different realms and take up different roles and thrive in the life in those realms. The open beta will be coming out in like September or something and will be in a jungle biome and that will be the first playable map but there will be a whole array of other maps to come to the game. Each animal model as well will be looked after and modelled with a main goal in mind realism. This means the ones that have feathers and fuzz or hair in any shape or form will get a very very nice treatment and it will go straight to a T. Realism is what they strive for and the models specifically is what they're striving for that realism aim with. Please bear in mind however of course as a disclaimer this game is in very early development so a lot of the things that I'm showing you right here are due to change. There are some mechanics that I was sent over by some of the developers of the game that I can share with you guys. And I'm going to be honest, a couple of these in this game are some mechanics that we haven't really seen in many animal or dinosaur survival games of its kind just yet. So here they are. Firstly, there will be the tripping mechanic. When you are chasing your prey, there is a chance you could collide with a tree, root or rock causing you to trip up and messing up your hunt. This works equally for the person being hunted as well, so you both have that same chance to trip up as well, to skew either your running away or your ongoing hunt. Then there is the prestige system. Most games have a leveling system and the developers would like to implement that but in a different way. There will be 10 levels for prestige, each having a specific quest to complete. Quest being hunting a specific type of animal, gain X amount of kills, and as you level your prestige, you unlock skins, abilities, and better stats. The game's max prestige skins will be noticeable by other players as they will either be black or gold, kind of like working towards a golden gun in Call of Duty. The maps will be specifically made for each biome so animals from specific climates won't be colliding with each other. Polar bears will not be interacting with lions. These maps however will be sold as DLC and the base game map will be a rainforest however, which is quite interesting to note there. Other mechanics that will be coming to the game include latching, climbing, swinging from trees and dragging bodies and some creatures would even be able to drag bodies up trees. But of course let's actually talk about the maps. The maps that will be in the game will be based on modern day natural habitats for a whole host of animals. Of course the main map, the first one will be a rainforest or a jungle biome and more maps will be coming in the future as I believe they mentioned DLCs. The jungle map features sprawling woods with a huge array of different trees and plant life overall featuring openings of grand plains to explore in between the jungles, some grasslands as well, as well as winding rivers through the map and potentially by the looks of this screenshot there might be a swamp in the jungle as well. But of course that might be the first map, the developers have mentioned there will be more that they want to be added to the game because there will be other maps to come in the future, for example there is this tundra that has been based off this screenshot that I have and of course a desert as well which I can also tell might have a savannah with it as well but it looks pretty nice and that's all we know about the maps so far probably more to come and more to explore when the game goes into its open beta in September of course however the main thing that you'll want to know about is the animals and I've been able to pick out and find some animals that will be in the game for example they did mention polar bears but that seems like a post launch late game feature in a DLC so we're going to skip over that one they did mention however anacondas buffaloes birds of prey which include eagles hawks owls and vultures 
will be in the game. However, there are more as well because they mentioned lions as well uh, that I mentioned earlier in the video. So it looks like lions will be coming to the game. But of course, we do have some screenshots of crocodiles. And there's one there. And of course, big snakes. I'm pretty sure this one is the anaconda. And it looks like you'll be able to wrap yourself around a crocodile and pretty much constrict it, suffocating it to death. There will also be gorillas populating the jungles, but also tigers as well, which looking at this carousel, showcasing it, look at the fuzz on it, mainly on the cheeks. It looks absolutely like they were definitely going with the realism here, so it looks really cool. The bears, which are also extremely fluffy and hairy too, evident in this demo on the screen now. And of course, there'll be elephants as well. There'll be more animals in this game. These are just touching the first base, and that's what I've been able to find so far. But it looks like they'll be having a whole expanse of other creatures, and this just seems like what there is so far. The last thing that I want to talk about is the price relating to the game. Now, the developers of the game have mentioned that they currently have a donation system that helps helps fund the game and this ties into the overall prices for the game as well kind of like when Path of Titans went through its crowdfunding it had different perks and they gave different yields so let's talk about these as well so firstly the prey is it unlocks a rare skin and it is ten dollars the hunter unlocks a king cobra upon full release based at $20. The scavenger gives you the base game with one DLC map. This will be worth 30 US dollars. So it indicates that the base game for this, well, the base game price will probably be less than $30 because that price there indicates the map and a DLC. So maybe the game could be around $25. That being said, the Predator is the final one, which, well, it's not the final one, but this one grants the full game with all DLC and one emote, which is 60 US dollars. And finally, you've got import, where you can import an animal that is not planned to be in the game. The animal will be available to everyone based at 350 US dollars. That covers the animations, model, design, and everything like that. So it seems interesting there. There is a lot to talk about and the price might be one of those divisive ones that you might consider when looking at the game but it looks like it'll be around $30 at its base price and there we have it there is an introduction to a brand new up and coming animal survival game called the hunted it's going to be an interesting one I definitely recommend you check out their discord server but yeah let me know what you think about this one because it's an upcoming animal survival game I know you guys like your dinosaurs but to those of you who like your animals this could be one that competes with Artemisia and the likes of that but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.